Number eight has to do with the foundry, and uh, that's undoubtedly the guy on the right must have been the foreman with his vest and his uh, hat. And what they, they used, we used to cast uh, all kinds of small stuff like the, uh, that iron wedge that goes in the big pianos, and we had a brass foundry that did the, uh, uh, the things on the end of the action, action hangers. Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So you can see in the front all the, those are molds of something. I can't tell exactly what they are. But that the guy on the left is just closing a mold. And those are sieves that you shook the sand on with to uh, do the molding. Yeah, here they are pouring. This is the way the iron was poured in the foundry and uh, cooked it till the foreman said it was right. And then each man, and there was, you see in the front, a two-man bucket, and then the others have individual buckets. And he said, pour, and they all poured at once so that the iron would flow in from all the sides evenly, and they had blowholes where the stuff could come out. And of course, it made a, a beautiful plate. Nowadays, they, they pour by machine from just one location, and it goes out but these made wonderful smooth plates. This is another one of the pouring of the iron, showing the double bucket guy. And over on the right, you can see the steam coming from the one they just poured. You can see the clamps on the mold on both of them that held the uh, cope and the drag, as they're called, together while the iron was uh, poured.